Hi, I'm Danny from Danny's Do-It-Yourself Garage. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'll be changing out the coolant in my 2009 Honda Civic. I have it off the ground on jacks right now. I'm only doing this to film it. You can actually do this job just laying underneath on the ground. I'm gonna be using the Genuine Honda Extended Life anti-freeze coolant type 2 this stuff you don't need to add water it's all pre-mixed ready to go you want to do this on a cold engine so let's get started once you remove the cap look at the cap and make sure there's no oil on the cap if you got oil inside the radiator then we have other problems I won't be addressing them on this video though and if you notice on the cap, it says danger, warning, never open when hot. So if your vehicle has over 100,000 miles on it, I would suggest replacing the radiator cap. And I would definitely use a genuine Honda radiator cap. Now would be a good time to put a drain pan underneath the vehicle. All right, so this is the Petcock and it's usually too tight to just loosen. You'll go counterclockwise. And this here is a Petcock socket. And you just put it on a quarter inch ratchet. Get it up in here and see how that loosens it. And if you don't have that, you can use some needle nose pliers. Go ahead and loosen it counterclockwise. Well, this doesn't look like it's in bad condition. Um, the reason is, is because I've already changed this. This has got 155,000 miles on it, and I did it at 90,000. So, I'm gonna let this drain for about 20 minutes just to make sure I get as much coolant out of here as possible. The key to keep your cooling system from having problems is keep your coolant nice and clean. I over maintain all my vehicles. I like to keep the fluids fresh. This helps the fluid do its job, protecting and cooling. Now I'm gonna let this drain for about 20 minutes and then I'll come back to it. If you would like to see videos on the power steering flush or the transmission drain and fill, I'll link them at the end of the video. Still got a steady stream. I'm gonna let that finish up. All right, so we're finished draining. Um, you don't wanna use the Petcock wrench to tighten it back up. It'll just make it too tight. So just, you'll be able to do it. Just go ahead and screw it clockwise now. And you'll feel when it bottoms out, once it bottoms out, you just tighten it and tight, and that would be perfect. Okay, so it is time to fill it. Um, what I purchased was the Gen 1 Honda Extended Life Antifreeze Coolant Type 2. Um, and you don't have to mix this, this is all ready to go. So that kind of helps you out a little bit. Pull it in. All right, let's go ahead and get this started. So I'm just letting the car warm up here a little bit, maybe about five minutes before I put the cap on. So 
got the RPM, it's about 2500, just trying to heat up the engine. I've got the cap on, just about finished with the job, we just need to make sure um, my fans come on and everything's okay. So this is where my coolant temperature has been running for the last 15 minutes. I even hooked up my little scanner right here and it says 212 degrees. I just want to hear the fans come on again. And on the scanner, this has been a pretty good scanner. Um, if anybody else out there wants to send me a scanner, I could use a new one. But let's get out and take this for a ride and let's see if we can get these fans to come on. Oh! The fan actually just came on. And it just went off. That's a good sign. Okay, it's time to take this car for a nice little ride. Let's see if we can get this cooling system all dialed in. All right, so I've been driving about 20 minutes. Um, the coolant looks good. Everything looks exactly where it needs to be. Um, I'm gonna go back and let it cool down and then once it cools down i'll go ahead and check the level one more time but everything's good all right so this is the next morning my car is completely cold and this is a good time to check everything so the first thing let's go ahead and check our coolant reservoir bottle and that's looking good all fresh coolant in there and it's right at the full line there Next up, let's remove our radiator cap. And there's no pressure on this system because it's completely cold. And I can even push the hose right here. Let's pull this cap off. Let me go ahead and just dip my finger in there. Oh, that's nice. So it's right at the full level. This was a Total success as far as the cooling system. I got a great peace of mind knowing my system is awesome. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.